you know what in retrospect they probably um should have 100 percent gone even lighter so glorious the um gaming i guess company recently released the model o2 wireless and wired mice uh the wired one is 64.99 the wireless one is 99.99 i'm curious to see what will come of these it looks like most people have pretty negative reviews on it so far just as an idea um it does look like arguably a just another rgb gaming mice gaming mouse rather but i actually like the difference in the design i have the regular model o myself the glossy white version um i think that the new sort of like design that they have in terms of the perforations is kind of nicer the overall like aesthetic is pretty clean the thing that people seem to have issue with is mostly that the uh sensor is not really much different um or at least it's not like necessarily the best you can get something that i've seen people complain about is that product is not really good enough or finalized enough to be selling at this price range especially when they still have about a 68 gram weight when there are other mice that are probably either more comfortable at this weight or have better features or are just a lower weight you know um, with a similar sort of shape and design so aside from that um, I think it would probably come down to overall what you would want for your aesthetic as well as the software that comes with the mice. This does work with the Glorious Core software. And I haven't used, I, I don't think I've used Glorious Core software in a while, or I'm not sure if that's the same one that came with the Y, um, sorry, with the Model O. But um, aside from that, like if that software is good enough for you and the rgb looks nice i think it would still be worth a buy especially since wireless mice these days probably just as good as getting a uh, wired mouse so like you're not really losing anything in terms of performance of the mouse it's still highly competitive um it really just comes down to weight preference shape preference and probably software is going to be a big thing on this one they claim that the build quality is going to be even better than before, which I did know that some people have complained about build quality of their previous mice. I've been rocking with the Model O for a long time now, and it's been doing absolutely fine for me. It's been going great. But yeah, I'm curious to see, and I'm kind of curious to see when I can be able to get my hands on one and try it out. I would say I'm by no means a mouse expert. I haven't tried too many a, a competitive mice especially in this price range or this weight class. So I can't say for sure how it compares or how this uh, might compare, but I am curious to see. Anyways, guys, uh, those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and um, please subscribe and share.